everybody, it's your favorite girl, Tyler Nicole Taylor, TNT, if you love me. And I am finally back. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I have been gone for so long. It feels like forever for me. Um, I have no idea what it feels like for you guys. Hopefully you missed me. Um, and for those of you that are new, um, hopefully you'll stay a while, you know? But for the people that have been hanging in there and been texting me and asking me if we're ever going to get another video, this one is for you guys. I just want to say thank you for hanging in there with me and watching some of the old videos, re-watching them. Thanks for the new subscribers that, there was a few of them, that popped up during my absence. It's just been a trying time, mostly just based on the little challenges that I've been facing with storage. So I got an external hard drive, I got a larger memory card, so hopefully the camera won't cut off in the middle of me shooting this <laughs> like it has been in the previous videos, but we shall see. Um, and instead of using my handy dandy phone, I've upgraded to the iPad. Now I've already had this iPad so it's not nothing new, but you know, whatever. It's better than that cracked screen that I had, right? Yeah. Anyhow, so yeah, I just wanted to say a huge shout out to you guys for hanging in there with me and um, keeping me accountable. Um, and I've been working trying to get this stuff to you guys. The month of June has been hectic for me. I mean, there's been a lot of travel. I've been leaving every single week, which has also been difficult when trying to make videos and put them out and publish them and all that. Yeah, it was just a lot. Anyway, let's get into today's topic. All right, today's topic, I guess it's kind of fitting with the welcoming back. That's why I decided to go this route. But today's topic is five reasons why I'm a waste of time. Now, obviously, I'm talking about dating because that's basically what I love to talk about on this channel is dating, relationships, friendships, all kinds of things involving human beings interacting with each other, right? So I'm talking about dating. Five reasons why I am a waste of time to date, okay? And yes, I will be referring to my iPad because I had to write it down. Okay, so let's start this off. We're gonna, we're not even gonna go five to one. We're gonna start off with number one. The number one reason why, and I guess, is this in any particular order? I think five is probably the greatest. And it probably has the most that I have to discuss and I'm rambling. Okay. The guys I like have been proven to not really be that good for me. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that has this problem. Um, but I think we all have a tendency sometimes to really like the ones that we probably shouldn't be with, that probably won't have a long <laughs> relationship with, but I don't know what it is. I just like them. And I don't know, maybe it's me, maybe it's them, or maybe it's the both of us, we just don't get along. But I have a tendency to like guys that are, um, sorry, my eye is like, got it. Okay, it was like really blurry in that left eye. Anyway, I have a tendency to like guys that are kind of assholes, and part partially because I'm kind of an asshole too. So, you kind of have to be able to deal with that when it comes to me. But I think I like to go for the supreme assholes or something because I take it to the next level with the guy that I like. Like, he's a king asshole or something. I don't know what it is. Being an asshole is all right, but then there's some that just take it a bit too far. And I've had a tendency to deal with the ones that take it just a little too far. And then I just can't take them no more. And that's just, I'm over it. Um, the second reason is you know what I think I really just don't know what my type is anymore sometimes that's what I think the problem is because I don't know like I used to think I like to date one certain type of guy so at one point in my life I swore up and down that I really was only into browner skin guys you know browner black men um, um, at one point I was into this like skinny basketball player types and then once I got to college I kind of moved on to the big muscular and not like 
super cut muscular. I mean, like big defensive end type dudes that look scary. <laughs> I don't know why I was really into them. Still kind of am. Um, and yeah, but what it all amounted up to, yeah, all of them were assholes too. So I don't know. I don't know what my type is. I think I try now to like be more um what is the word I'm looking for? Oh, this is crazy. I feel like cue the little Jeopardy music right now. But I try to um be more open-minded in terms of the type of personalities that I um, try to get to know and, and go out on dates with now. Um, hence why I still am on Tinder. Um, plus, you know, it's some funny Tinder stories, so it's just like, yeah. With dating on the internet, that does help um, with me trying to be more open-minded and trying to get to know different types of people um, on that level. because. Obviously, I'm friends with so many different types of people and that part of me is not like it's not hard for me to be friends and be cool with somebody and and you know be a real friend to these two people that are different uh, from me but I don't always have a tendency to be as open-minded when it comes to my potential mate and I think that's probably what I should work on I've been trying but anyway Okay, now this is another problem. Um, <laughs> my interests begin to be very fleeting. Like, yes, I am a Gemini, and there are various parts of my personality that is very true to that zodiac sign when it comes to my attention span. And my interests are fleeting. Like, I can be super into somebody for a week or two weeks, and then done be over them like and I will have no reason why I sometimes can't explain it to them I sometimes can't even explain it to myself so <laughs> it's just like I don't know I don't know I could be super into you one day and be just completely over it the next day um I guess that could keep it interesting no I don't know <laughs> it could if you're you know willing to understand that relationships mean work and I'm willing to understand that but I'm not about to do all the work when somebody else ain't showing that they trying to they ain't trying to do any work either so it's kind of like that aids into the fleeting you know the desire to to run or to fleet from a situation so a lot of times some potentials just never really got that far because I felt like I started losing interest and I let they started losing interest, which leads me to the next one, number four. A low tolerance, a very low tolerance on dating people that either I'm not interested in or that I feel aren't interested in me. So the reason why that piggybacks off the previous one is because I'm already flighty when it comes to that, okay? And the minute that you show me that I no longer matter to you, I'm kind of like, what the hell am I here for? Okay, because we're not married. We're not even really together. We're just talking. We don't have to do this. Okay, so And we could still be cool. Don't get me wrong. We could still be friends. We could still be cool. We could still chat it up every now and again. I see you out and about hugs and all that all love. We can even party together. But we don't have to be together. And I don't like being with someone that makes me feel like it's a chore to be with me. Who the hell wants that? I want happiness, rainbows, and glitter, and unicorns, and candy, and all the time, okay? I want that shit all the time. Now, I'm not so delusional to the point where I don't know that relationships have rough patches and seasons. I get that. But again, the two people in that relationship have to be willing to work. And if I feel like your interest is no longer here to me, I'm already going to start looking at your work ethic when it comes to this relationship. And if that is diminishing as well, guess what? I'm done here. I can't seem to find the desire to want to be with anybody anymore. I don't know what it is, but at this point in my life, I just don't desire to be with anyone. And the crazy part is I have met and went on dates with and talked to briefly with some very amazing men, um, handsome too. 
very nice looking black men that are doing well and that are respectable people. Some of them are assholes, but in a good way, I guess. Um, <laughs> but none of them have made me, and I'm not putting the responsibility on them. For some reason, I just have not been wanting or desiring wanting to be with any of them. As great candidates as any of them were for me, I just don't have the desire for some reason. And it's crazy because obviously, I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I do want to be married. I do want a family. I'm ready to start a family to some degree, but I guess in a lot of the major ways maybe I'm not because I don't desire anyone not one not even secretly a celebrity like yeah I see some of them they're nice looking I might even hang out with some of them you might see me in pictures with some people out at the club or any editing event or something like that but I just don't desire anybody like there's no one at all and it's the oddest feeling you know it feels really weird because I don't think I've ever been in this space before so anyway I do have a tendency to kind of be attracted to creative people passionate people and people that have their own thing that they do even if you have a reg you know a normal job but a like for instance my brother he has a government job but that boy can sing so what does he do he comes home and he makes music and it's good and we've been working, you know, years, and well, not years, but we've been working on trying to put it out. So that's all cool. That's great stuff. Sometimes you need an outlet from your normal everyday life. And somebody that has the passion to do things, creative things, or even just if it's business things, like you have your own thing. For some reason, that is just, those are the people that I'm really attracted to. Those are the people I like to converse with. Those are the people I like to bounce ideas off of. Those are the people that I feel can help me grow and I can help them grow. And that ultimately is what I'm looking for. Someone that is attractive to me and attracted to me. <laughs> Someone that thinks I'm fine. Yes, that's important. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to feel like your partner don't think you fine, hot, sexy, whatever. You want to feel wanted by your man or by your woman. Hello, who does not want that? <laughs> Come on. Anyway. And, you know, someone that has a passion, someone that is intelligent, someone that is a, that has a good moral ground, someone that I can raise incredible people with. Because at the end of the day, yes, they're your children, and they're your babies, and they're your legacy, but they turn into people. And I want to be proud of those people. I want them to be incredible people that, together, my partner and I, created. And, you know, certain things just have to align properly for that. And so far, I have not found it. And I feel like I've just been wasting people's time. And I'm so sorry if I've dated, if, you're, if anybody I dated is watching this, which they probably aren't. But if they are, I apologize if you feel like I ever wasted your time. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I will find the desire to date somebody. But anyway, so out of my five, th these are my five. If you have a couple of reasons why you think you might be a waste of time, drop them below. Let's talk about this because I just kind of wonder, am I the only one that feels like this? And also too, a really big one. If you have ever, or if you do right now, like me, feel like you just don't have the desire to like anybody, explain that. Like, let's talk about that too. And for the ones that did feel like that and have gotten through it, share with us how did you get through that like because i really need to get through this like i just had a birthday and i'm getting older not younger <laughs> so i really need to start really buckling down and taking this stuff very seriously if i really want to you know have a family and all that kind of thing so i don't know yeah talk to me let me know tell me what you got <sighs> that's all i have for today like I said, y'all, thank you for rocking with me so far, you know, and, you know, still sticking around during my hiatus. I really appreciate that. Um, if you like this video, like it. Uh, if you have a comment, if you want to add some things, not about me, about you. Let's not talk about me because I already did that. I don't need help with, you know, spotlighting my flaws. Let's, you know, talk about 
how we can better ourselves okay so comment that below <laughs> and um yeah subscribe if you uh want to subscribe that would be awesome um i would love for you to come back you know and share you know with some people or whatever whatever anyway tnt is back y'all so get ready bye <laughs> until next time i will see y'all yeah i already said bye i said bye okay bye <laughs>